Police suspected his boyfriend Daniel has been doing more than twerking. But Daniel proved he's faithful by passing his lie detector exam. Now it's time for Kareem's results. Ariva? You confess that throughout your relationship, you engaged in numerous sexual related flirting, talking, texting, and online chatting with males the same way that Daniel did. You hear that? You also disclosed that in November of 2018, during a trip to Canada, you had a full sexual intercourse with a random person over one night. Now, did you know about that, Daniel? That's not it, though. Okay, uh, but Daniel... I made a mistake. I made a mistake. It, it, was, it was one time... Okay. Pay you know, close attention, Daniel. It was okay. one time. Okay. Mm -hmm. The question asked to Kareem was, since you've been in a relationship other than your nine-month break, and except what you disclosed about the one-night stand in Canada, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone without Daniel's knowledge? And you answered, no. Now, the lie detector exam says you lied. <laughs> so we've been here talking about Daniel twerking, and Kareem, you're the one that have been stepping out on Daniel. I man. I How guess. How unfortunate that is. I don't even know what to say. So, I so look to at lie. Daniel and tell him exactly what's been going on. Um, basically, when, when things wasn't going right, where I felt like you wasn't giving me that attention, when you wasn't, you know, giving me what I needed, I, I slept with other people and I entertained other people. Mm. How does that make you feel to hear that? It's hurtful. It's hurtful? That's true. It's hurtful. Okay. You know, it's hurtful when someone's pointing fingers at you and when people are judging you, yeah. mm -hmm. but they're the one doing it. All right, true team, what yeah, say you? You know, Arriba? I think both of you got some growing up to do yeah. in this relationship. I think there's a lot of immaturity that's happening because in a good relationship, you don't have to worry if somebody's cheating. You don't have to come on TV, take a lie detector test, and learn that someone had an affair and stepping out on you with other people. How embarrassing, Kareem, is that to Daniel? It is, it is. How embarrassing. Well, it how is. embarrassing is it to well, you? Yeah. It is embarrassing because to be on TV and to have that aired out but in front of everybody. What, so, so, so this is what is I don't get. Yeah. Why not give him the respect that if you truly love him, talk to him before coming on stage and say, you know what, I've screwed up and I'm going to own to it and I'm coming here to fix it. Yeah. Dr. Judy. Kareem and Daniel, we wish both of you the best, whether you stay together or not. And if you choose to stay together, we reached out to Brooklyn Minds in Brooklyn, New York, and they're willing to give you both three months of weekly therapy sessions to work through your communication issues together or separately if you decide to part. They will give you individual sessions free of charge. Mm. Oh, wow, thank you. And if I could just offer a suggestion, if you all do value this relationship, take the counseling. Start taking the baby steps to improve your relationship. I think I'm gonna have to think about it. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. says I got to think about things because, yeah. you know, things done change. That's good. So, Kareem <laughs> and Daniel, I know this was difficult today, mm -hmm. but thank you all so much for having the courage to face the truth and know that we wish you the best. Thank okay? you, thank you.